Hello, my students. I just wanted to check in and so you know that I'm still alive and well. Um, really big hair today and every day because, well, who's going to see me? Just you guys. Anyway, I didn't get I didn't get dressed up for you. Here I am in sort of my office business area of my house, and this is where I will be hanging out with you. Um, I just wanted you to know that I'm here, and I'm. Um, Ms. Griffin from the library helped us borrow all the podcasting equipment, so I've got it at home so I can record anything that I want. Anyway, um, what I wanted to tell you is there's a, probably a big announcement in the Ministry of Education today. It's Tuesday, and probably that announcement is going to say something like about what the assessment protocols are going to be, and, and of course, we will all want to get you back to the school as soon as possible and get back to normal. Um, I like to plan for a few scenarios and one of the scenarios is that if we needed to do the rest of our class online completely f between now and the end of the school year, we could totally do that. And I've probably been teaching online for about 12 years. I've written courses for the ministry, I've written them for TVO, and I want you to know that um, we can get through any problem in terms of what your technology is, is like at home. but. You are going to be receiving a phone call from your homeroom teacher this week, and you make sure to let them know the very limits that you have. This isn't a time for you to be uh, go. Oh, oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't really need anything. This is the kind of time when, if you ask for it, someone will be able to help you with that. So you say, "I have a phone, but I have to share a computer with two or my two of my sisters and brothers." You say, "I've got really bad." internet at my house. Um, what I'm hoping is that if everybody can have a webcam and a microphone, whether it's on board inside the computer you're using or a Chromebook, something like that, that we can communicate as often and as regularly as we want. And why shouldn't we? We're a creative writing class. We should be creative. And I think that there'll be a lot more fun things that we can do if everybody has some equity in terms of what they've got at home. So please ask for that. The other thing is, I want to remind you that even though I've been teaching online for a long time, this is all new for you. And one of the new things is that we're going to be working in an asynchronous environment. In other words, our class time, when the bell used to ring and we'd all sit together, we were synchronized. But we're the opposite now. So let's try to be gentle with each other, give each other 24 hours um, to respond to any question or comment. Don't panic. Try to relax and remember that people have other obligations and responsibilities that they're that they're dealing with. So if you're okay with it, and I hope that you are, I'd like to just try to keep going. Um, assessment's going to look a little different. We're going to need to keep working on how to communicate with our peer groups, and we're going to need to um, work on things like chunking bigger assignments because I'm not going to be able to mark all of them in order to get feedback back to you as quickly as I know that you would want it. But I'd like to keep going. I'd like to still try to tackle a unit on narrative, which is basically short story. I'd like to tackle a unit on poetry. And I'd like to tackle a unit on drama before we finish the semester. Um, but we'll, we have to go with the guidance of whatever the Ministry of Education says and whatever our school board does and whatever Mr. Warren decides. So things are uh, still up in the air a little bit, but I'm here for you and I'm ready to teach and you can rely on me. Please, if you're going to get in touch with me, use my alana.king at ugdsb.on.ca email. I've posted it in the classroom as well as sent you an email. Um, I'm going to be working this week to try to set up some place where you can communicate inside UG Cloud with your peer group. Um, and then if you want to go beyond that and share other information, then you can. But you don't have to do that outside of our classroom space. All right. So if you have any questions or worries or concerns, just get in touch. I look forward to working with you for the rest of the semester.